All right. Are there questions? Um, Dante. Uh, that, that was a fascinating talk. I, I'm just, I, I guess I'm curious, while this may not be a true beard, I, I wonder if your research has also discovered the origin of the term mutton chops. Take into account the fact that facial hair isn't the only inexplic inexplicable patch of hair that we have, including back hair and hair on our palms. We. We predict that to benefit and suit different environments, such as uh, people who would catch fish and swim to store food on their backs instead of their faces, <laughs> mutton chops would be a simple variation of the beard as a method of preserving and storing and transporting food. Robin? Simply going to ask if beards are primarily a sort of adaptation to help deal with extremely harsh conditions, does this explain why men are more likely to have beards in the darkest timeline? As I, as I mentioned in the last slide, we are expecting that with the rise of um, rise of foreboding signs of apocalypse, such as epidemics and financial crises, there will be a resurgence of beards, men growing out their beards, as a subconscious response. I notice that you're clean shaven. And, and to that, I have a very, very satisfactory explanation to, as, as to why I'm um, completely clean-shaven today. If you, if you analyze the um, beard, beard attraction levels in, in single ethnicity societies, South Korea, for example, there is a correlation between the attract, there is a um, correlation, negative correlation between the, attract, the attractiveness of beards and the presence of refrigerator industries. South. <laughs> I am ethnically South Korean, and South Korea is known for its extensive um, refrigerator lines, such as LG refrigerators and Samsung refrigerators. <laughs> Thus, it would be unnecessary for me to grow out a beard, as we have the technology necessary to store our food. <laughs> Interesting. So your hypothesis may predict that women may also benefit from beards. Do you have an explanation for that? Well, this, the uh, studies conducted prove that women aren't necessarily attracted to beards, but simply from the presence of a luscious flank of zebra would have probably attracted a female, and especially with the impending doom that we are expecting, women will once again against their wishes be attracted to the mere presence of food, especially hazelnut spread. And, and why then don't women have beards? Well, because beards are a simple byproduct of testosterone and because women generally do not produce as much testosterone as men, we, that's, that's why we think women don't have as much beards even though they would benefit from them. However, from seeing the immense popularity popularity that uh, bearded ladies have been gathering as, as singers, we, we, pres we presume that these, <laughs> we presume that these few individual, few individual women who do have beards probably served a significant role in uh, ancient history, such as Queen Nefertiti of ancient Egypt, who is, who is, who is depicted in ancient Egyptian art with a beard. <laughs> All right, thank you so very much, Kevin Yusin Jung.